Hi guys, today's question is how much fuel capacity do you want on your paramotor? Welcome to our classroom insights into paramotor geometry. We cover all the aspects of paramotor construction and design. This is part 32 of the series insights into paramotor geometry. Thanks for watching and subscribing to this channel. When discussing how much fuel you need or how much fuel capacity you want for your paramotor, I'll recall one of my previous slides uh, at the beginning of this series, what is your flying style? Now, most pilots out there fall into the first category, namely cross-country cruising. Uh, and obviously, this is the flying style where you probably need uh, more and more fuel, depending on, on, your, on your goals. Now, there are pilots who really love to fly long, 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 and then um, obviously they need higher fuel capacity. Then there are pilots who prefer to fly fast, and, and long in terms of distance, but not in terms of time, but fast gliders need more power, are probably less efficient so you'll burn more fuel again you need to carry it with you for freestyle and slalom you really don't need a lot of fuel two three liters is perfectly sufficient and then again you carry a very heavy engine on your back so why add unnecessary fuel for acrobatics the only time you need the engine is to climb high which takes a few minutes consumes one or two liters again fuel capacity is absolutely not an issue and for tourmaling with the paramotor three or five liters is perfectly enough to climb have sufficient margin to give an, uh, to make another climb if you if you fail to catch the thermal and have additional two three liters to come come back in the afternoon or in the evening when the thermals died. So the only the only flying style that you need fuel capacity is cross country cruising. So that was the question, how much fuel you need. Obviously, having more fuel capacity doesn't hurt because you just don't fill it all the way up to the cap if you don't need it. Now, the industry standard for fuel capacity is around 12 liters, which will give you probably three to four hours, uh, three to four hours of flying, flying autonomy. Anything less than that it doesn't make much sense to me, except for thermaling when you are be pretty happy with three four three five liters anything more than that gets a little complicated not for you but for the manufacturer depending on the engine size and shape uh, on most paramotors larger fuel tank just doesn't fit uh, behind your back and that is it sticks out creating more drag in flight so if you fly mostly short flights you would you would prefer to have a smaller fuel tank. A large fuel tank may also get too close to the hot parts of the engine, probably the exhaust, or too close to the propeller, uh, causing safety considerations. This is why uh, most paramotors uh, kind of compromise at around 12 13 liter fuel tanks another consideration for the manufacturer is that you can you that you could have a larger fuel capacity if you have a custom made tailor made fuel tank and these are really expensive so due to all these reasons we mostly end up flying roughly 12 13 liter fuel tanks <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure you, most of you would be interested into the next topic, and that is how much does weight matter on paramotors? See you soon. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next part.